What's up everybody? So today I got uh, got my 93 Cobra I'm working on doing a little bit of interior detailing and cleaning, uh, specifically the door panels. Uh, we're going to talk about mat pockets and a good trick to uh, lift up those saggy mat pockets. Uh, I know a lot of you guys probably have cars that have mat pockets that are all sagging off and uh, you know I know some guys have maybe cut the mat pockets off but today I'm going to show you how to save them or at least make them look a, a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> this method has been tried and true. I've done it a bunch of times. Uh, can't take credit for it though. Learned it from my dad. Uh, you know, shout out to Fox Junk there. But um, today, like I said, we're going to be doing it on my 93 Cobra, and I will just give you guys a run through on how to do it, uh, what tools it takes, and a general overview. So let's get into it. All right, so here's a door panel that we're working with. Uh, you can see my mat pocket is all sagging down and obviously everything's dirty here. That's that's why we're in here to get this thing cleaned up. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not gonna go too in depth on how to take the door panel off or anything like that. There's a bunch of videos out there already like that. Um, but I will say, if you've never done it, just a real quick thing. Uh, take these two caps out of here. There's two 10 mil bolts. There's one screw here, one screw on the top, sorry one screw on the top of the door panel you got a screw holding this on this will come out take the two screws off the back of your window switch bezel that will come off then this whole piece comes off uh, you got one screw here for this bezel one screw here for there and there should be a screw down here for the speaker grill and then just a bunch of clips going all the way down I will say if you're gonna try this uh, Make sure you have your window rolled down. Makes it a ton easier to get the door panel on and off. So once I get this door panel off, I will go ahead and show you, uh, I guess, how we tighten them up. Let's get to it. broken we'll be fixing this Sometimes these screws, they'll get actually caught up in the uh, armrest panel itself. Uh, so what you got to do is just back it out all the way and then you can get the screw out afterwards. It doesn't, see it gets caught in there. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, but...
These are oftentimes broken around the edges here. You can kind of see mine's kind of cracked. Uh, it's a good time to replace that stuff now. It's also a good time once you've got the door panel off, obviously, to go ahead and lube up your window tracks if they haven't been lubed in a long time. Uh, go ahead and replace your window uh, guide bushings. And also your power door lock actuators or window motors, whatever is back behind this door panel will be a good time to do this now. All of ours is in pretty good shape back there, so I'm not going to worry about it, but... So there are different ways to take this off. This is the way that I like to do it. Uh, a lot easier, I think, or I feel. So when this is off, uh, some guys like to leave the buttons and the switches and everything attached to that. Uh, and then you can unplug it further down, but this is just a lot easier, in my opinion. All right, that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and pop off all these clips and then take the door panel off. These are all original clips. They're all going to break when you take them off, so make sure you go ahead and get yourself some new clips. You're going to need them. A good clip tool like this is pretty much all you need for that. You don't want to go ripping on it because then you'll tear your door panel and not have a good time. Just be careful not to rip your door panel around the, the uh, door handle here. They do like to uh, rip off from time to time. That's it. I'll show you uh, where we go from here. All right, so here's the other side that I already did. You can see how much better that map pocket looks. I don't know if the driver's side is going to turn out as good because this one wasn't as bad, but we'll see how it looks when we're done. But this is door panel all cleaned off and wiped off. I need to get a little insert there for the uh, armrest, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. And uh, like I said, we're just going through, cleaning up the interior. Uh, you know, real clean car overall, just need a good deep clean. So anyway, but uh, here we go. All right, so here's the back of the door panel. That's pretty much what you guys is going to look like. Some of them, the, the boards are in pretty rough shape, but uh, that shouldn't affect what we're doing here today. Basically, what I'm going to do right now is there's little staples that hold this... Um, insulation pad on to the back of the door panel. I'm going to go ahead and remove this one and this one and the one in the middle here and then just flip it up about halfway and that'll expose our tabs for the map pockets. So I'm going to do that right now. Alright, so here's a look at the retaining tabs for the back of the map pocket. Um, they've got these little clips to help ensure that if these tabs come loose, the map pocket doesn't actually fall off. You want to have them on the corners because uh, that's really where they're going to start to pull away from the door over time. But anyway, you want to go in here and get your screwdriver and just kind of pry up on the edge of this. Once that's pried up, then you can go ahead and slide that off of there. Now once you're done with that, you're just going to take these tabs. It's a little easier to just kind of... Get them started with a screwdriver there so you don't kill your finger and then just lift them up and then once you're done with that go ahead and remove all of them once you're done with that the map pocket will just fall off uh will not fall off you have to you know take it off but it'll be ready to come off so we'll do that real quick and uh, i'll show you where we're at all right got all of these pointing upright a little tech tip just make sure they're pointing upright i mean you can like make them loose but they're kind of like this I like to just make sure that they're kind of straight up and down. Makes it a lot easier to get this map pocket off and uh, put it back on. But anyway, so you're just going to go ahead and lift up on the door panel a little bit. 
And then, like I said, this door panel pretty, or the mount pocket pretty much falls off at that point. From there, you can go ahead and slide it off. And here's what you're working with. Just, uh, ooh, maybe clean out the mat pocket a little bit before you start this. There's some stuff in here. We'll uh, go ahead and get that cleaned out before we proceed on. But, uh, got stuff hiding down there in the crevices. But anyway, what you're basically going to do, the general idea here is, you have these little elastic tabs, okay? This is what keeps the mat pocket actually tight, that that elastic runs all the way through here and back to the other side. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this elastic tab, you're gonna take the staples out here. You're gonna need a staple gun for this, by the way. Uh, take these staples out here. I like to usually take one or two of these off as well just to kind of free up this mat pocket because what you're gonna find is most of these are sewn into the bottom here. Uh, now usually they only get sewn into about right here um, I've only had a couple of them that kind of go past that, but you're going to need to cut the stitching right here. Now, don't worry, your stitching isn't going to go flying everywhere unless you do a bad job at it, but um, go ahead and cut the stitching off here. That will free up your elastic tab, and then we're going to just pull these tabs, making sure to keep the, uh, the top side of this kind of as straight as we can. Um, I kind of like to keep these lines in here. Uh, now, I've seen guys just pull them as tight as they can and it'll lose some of the line, but uh, kind of up to you. Um, I don't like to pull the, the life out of them, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get that done and show you guys where we're at. Alright, so here we go. This is kind of what I'm talking about. Um, you're going to go ahead, cut the stitching right here. Like I said, we didn't go past basically the edge of that and whenever we pull it tight we'll kind of tighten this up a little bit too um, but basically now this elastic strap if you look down in here is free from that stitching right there so now I can pull on this elastic strap as tight as I want and uh, once I get it as tight as I want kind of look at you know where your mat pocket is at here you're going to kind of it might be wise to maybe get like a heat gun and kind of heat this up, heat the material up a little bit so you can kind of pull it and stretch it. Uh, that's what I'm about to go do. But um, another good idea is to kind of clean up inside your mat pocket here because once you pull this stuff tight, you don't want to go tugging on this anymore. Um, at least I wouldn't want to. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and heat that up a little bit, hopefully get some of the, the material to stretch a little bit easier and come up, and then we'll go ahead and pull these elastic straps staple them down and once I'm done with both sides I'll go ahead and pick the camera back up and show you guys all right we're done pulling these elastic straps uh, if you can see so basically right in here actually no let me see yeah from right here is pretty much where it was sewn in all the way over here so we pulled the elastic strap that much out and then this is the front half. You can see right here, that's where it was sewn in, about right here. So what I like to do, just pull them out. And then, you know, get you three good staples right here on the elastic strap. Make sure you get some right here. Hold this thing on, this little tab. And same on the other side. This one was a little loose up here. Uh, I'll probably trim this back just a little bit before I put it on the door panel itself. But that's pretty much that. Uh, this is what it looks like now. Obviously, I have not cleaned it, but as you can tell, it is a major improvement. Uh, there will be a little nick in this one, but uh, you know, better than, than buying repos if you don't exactly need them. And if the car is not a perfect show quality car, uh, stuff like this doesn't exactly bother me too much. Um, once I clean this up, all of these black marks will be off of here. It'll match the rest of the door panel. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but that looks a whole heck of a lot nicer. So let's get it put on the door panel, get the uh, door panel put on the car, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm finished. Oh, um, real quick, this is just a cheap Harbor Freight staple gun, and same with the staples, 5 uh staples is what I'm using. Um, these are the original clips that come off the door panel. You don't have to, let me see, I thought I brought the other ones. Uh... Looks like I didn't bring the other clips with me, but they sell these clips at like any AutoZone, O'Reilly, any automotive 
hardware parts store. Uh, so you don't have to order online or anything like that. You can do all of this with stuff from your local parts stores. But uh, I'm excited. Let's get this put back on the door panel and show you guys what it looks like. All right, everybody. You can see we've got the door panel back on the car. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. There's a couple little marks in the mat pocket, but, um, you know, that's kind of... It is what it is. Uh, these cars are old, and some of them just weren't treated the best. Uh, but this is a good alternative. Like I said, if you have maybe like a, a car you just want to clean up and drive down the road, and you just want everything clean. Um, you got a little bit of stuff running off the floor panel there. Just got done cleaning it, so I'm going to have some remnants. But uh, overall, I think it turned out pretty good for what it is. You know, everything on it's original. I still need to, uh, I got to dig through my, my spare parts and see if I've got an original one. Uh, so I can just put an original one back on it. That way I don't have to buy anything. But I, I think I got one. And anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit closer up. And uh, let me know what you think. So, like I said, you're going to have... You know, a little bit of maybe marks in yours. Um, sometimes you'll get lucky and there won't be anything. Um, over time, though, once this gets heated up and with the heat, some of these wrinkles will come out uh, so that it'll look a lot better over time. You just got to think it's it's been that way for however many years stuck in that position, so it'll be a little bit. But like I said, I try to keep uh, these up and down lines in the pocket as much as I can. But... You guys remember how bad it was before. Sorry, I'm stepping on stuff over here. But I'd say that's a drastic improvement on what we started with. And I would be happy with that. So uh, let me know if you guys got any more questions. So my dad usually does a lot of the... My dad usually does a lot of the how-to videos. Uh, but I don't mind doing a few things here and there. I'm going to try to start uploading on the channel. Uh, quite a bit more. I've got a project car that I'm going to start working on. It's a uh, it's an 04 Cobra that I'm going to try to do a little bit different drivetrain on. Uh, still keep it the four valve family, but just a little bit different. Um, if you guys would like to see updates on that project, uh, I'll probably do like a a big uh, a build series with a lot of different videos on that. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. But otherwise, thank you for sticking around this super long video. If you're still here, thank you. Uh, go ahead and drop a like or leave a comment and let me know what I can do better, what was worse, or, uh, you know, all, all the above. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.